Let me show you how to design this social media 2 slides post in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by creating a new file. Since it's 2 slides, we write 1080 times 2 and 1350 pixels height. When you finish press create. Now go to view and choose new guide layout. Follow these settings since it's 2 slides post. If you want to learn more about how to create guides, check out the link in the description below. When you finish press OK. Again, go to view, and choose new guide layout. Follow these settings. When you finish press OK. Again go to view, and choose lock guides. Now go to adjustment layer and choose solid color. Choose a light gray color. Now drag your image to Photoshop. You can find the link to this image in the description below. Scale it while holding the shift button. Now go to select and choose subject. Add a layer mask. Now go to Adjustment Layer and choose Gradient Map. Click on this icon to only affect the layer below it. Follow these settings. Make sure it's black color on the left side, and white on the right side. Now choose the Quick Selection tool. You can adjust the brush size from here. Hold ALT to remove extra selection. Now go to adjustment layer and choose solid color. Right click and choose create clipping mask. Change the blending mode to color. Reduce the fill. Select all these layers while holding the shift button and group them. Let's rename the group. Now let's add some brightness contrast to make it more appealing. Click on this icon to only affect the layer below it. Create new layer. Put it behind the image layer. Now choose the brush tool. Adjust the brush size from here. Make sure the hardness is at 0%. Set the opacity to 75%. Choose the Move tool. Press Ctrl T. Go to Filter, Blur, and choose Gash and Blur. Reduce the fill. Now choose the image group and adjust its position accordingly. Choose the type tool. Go to window and choose character. I will be using Biba's new font. Follow these specs. Let's color it black. Choose the Move tool. Choose the Rectangle tool. Follow these settings. Adjust the round corners. You can also do it from here if you want. Drag this rectangle layer onto the text and change the text color to white. Select these layers while holding the shift button and let's center them horizontally and vertically. Right click and choose convert to smart object. 
Go to Layer Style and add a drop shadow. Follow these settings. Click on the plus to add another drop shadow. Follow these settings. Now add a stroke and follow these settings. Let's adjust the shadow. Double click here to enter this smart object. Let's make the canvas width bigger so we can be able to add a longer word. Choose the type tool and edit the text. Let's center the text. Go to select and choose deselect. Press Ctrl T and scale it while holding the Alt key. Press Ctrl S to save it and go back to the original file. Let's duplicate the smart object. Go to Layer, Smart Object, New Smart Object via Copy. Double click here to enter this smart object. Choose the Type tool and edit the text. Press Ctrl T and scale it while holding the Alt key. Press Ctrl S to save it and go back to the original file. Let's do the same thing for the rest of the words. We duplicate the smart object as we did before, and then double click on it and edit the text, and then save it. I will speed this part. Keep on watching. Now press Ctrl T, and rotate the text and scale it if needed. Let's add the copyright on each slide. I will take it from an older file. I have selected all the text layers and group them by pressing Ctrl G. Now let's create a new layer under the image. Change the color to white. Choose the brush tool. Adjust the brush size from here. Make sure the hardness is at 0%. Let's save the file and continue. Let's do the same thing as we did before. Duplicate the smart object and edit the text. I will speed this part. Keep on watching. Now choose the Slice tool. Right click and choose Divide Slice. Since it's two slides, write the number 2.
Go to File, Export, choose Save for Web. Right click here and zoom out. Select both slides and follow these settings. That's it. If you have any question, write your comment below and hit the like button to support my channel.